Hello everybody. I have something I have to get out. I have discovered a free energy device. I see it every time I look in the mirror. It's called the human being. And it sounds crazy, but everybody is a free energy device. And the reason why is because we can give more than we can take. We can we can we have the capability to do so. It's our conditioning that that uh, is holding us back, that has restraints on us. The word free, okay, that's in definition, it's the lack of a monetary value. Uh, it costs no money, okay? It, the reason why free energy doesn't exist has nothing to do with the fact that energy isn't prevalent in all things and that we can take energy and reuse it and change its form. That's all energy ever does is change its form. In fact, change is the constant of the universe. Everything changes. The reason why we don't have free energy is because of our social structure and our, me and our mental conditioning and how we've been raised. Um, our social environment, our, our ego tells us so many things and limits our possibilities because it, it fears and it hates and it wants to deconstruct but um, there's, here's my example, okay? It's a caloric example of the human being. Human beings need food, shelter, water. Now water, as much as it's taken, it's given back. Shelter is dependent on your conditioning. You can take very little space and actually encourage growth around you environmentally with your shelter. Food, the caloric intake, that's where we can delve into this free energy model in a, a natural order. When you're a baby, you need a, a care provider to help you, to help condition you so you, you understand uh, things that are dangerous so you don't pass, you know, and you learn your lessons in life. Um, that's kind of the exploration and the experience of being a human being. But there's other things to, to give back in this caloric model after a certain amount of age if you're you know if you're I'd say probably four or five when you can start up, standing upright you start learning how to use your thumbs and your brain in conjunction to make conscious thought transform into form transform into action and uh, you become you can become a free energy device, so to speak. You can give back and you can make more food. You can feed an entire village, just one person. One person can do enough work to feed an entire group of people. Not only that, but environmentally with, depending on your housing and all, and your, and your caretaking of the land, you can give back to a multitude of different species. It doesn't have to just be human. Again, that is over unity. There, there's no other, there's no better way to define over unity than that. And the reason why it's such a great model, and I have to get this out, is because we're human, and that's what we know, that's our perception. So the key element to free energy and change in the world, for that matter, is perception and understanding yourself. Thank you for your time, and peace and love to you all.